It's important to control it because it's a new virus in the first instance and until you get established immunity within a community it will transmit and this virus looks to be very good at transmitting and there's nothing we can do. So if you do get sick, we can only support you symptomatically. Every community has a limited infrastructure for dealing with outbreaks like this and it will get to a point if the outbreak does go too far that we won't be able to treat everybody and, and certainly that's been the case in other countries where uh, the outbreak has been extensive. There's a lot that we don't know about this virus, how it's behaving. Even though it's a relative of other viruses that we know, it's still acting quite distinctly different. And one of those aspects is it has quite a long incubation period, so up to 14 days. And that means that if we're out in the community and unknowingly have the virus, we're infecting everyone that we come in contact with. What we're trying to do at the moment is contain and slow the spread of the virus. It is now not possible to stop a large number of a population eventually becoming infected with this virus. What we do know is that in countries where infection has risen and has risen very, very quickly, the death rate or the case fatality rate is much higher. This is the case in Italy and has been the case in parts of China, particularly where the pandemic erupted first in Wuhan. In countries, however, where the disease has had a much slower rise, where health systems have not become overwhelmed by the number of cases, outcomes appear to be much better. It's where health systems become overwhelmed, where they run out of personal protection equipment for their staff, and where a large number of people are needing urgent care, that things are going to go wrong. If we can slow down the spread of this virus, while that will still mean problems for individuals, we can, hopefully, protect and save lives. Why do we need to do these social distancing measures? They seem extreme, they seem draconian, they're not. They're extremely necessary. If you just do the maths, um, considering the whole population is susceptible, even though a small proportion of the whole population will get sick enough to need intensive care management and hospital management, uh, if we don't do anything to change it, those numbers will completely overwhelm the capacity of our hospitals and our intensive care units. If our hospitals are not overwhelmed and we keep the numbers lower and spread out over time rather than all happening at once, we'll be able to treat those who have the severe end of the spectrum and need treatment and, uh, and hopefully prevent deaths in those people.